Whoo, baby. It is a beauty out here today. Nice and sunny, 30 degrees. Summer's finally here, boy. Let's go. I'm out for a walk. Uh, daily walks, baby. You know what it is. And yeah, man, just enjoying this weather right now. Quarantine's still going on. Day, whatever. I don't even know what day it is anymore. But I'm happy, man. We're good. I hope you guys are doing well, too. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the weather as much as you can. Have fun with it. And that's it. Go garden. Go garden or something. Learn something new in this time. And yeah. Mm, go dancing too. Go sing, dance, do whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? Yeah. What yes. do you do? Chris Harry, uh, um, I can't speak, bro. The, his fucking workout. What's it called? The seven minute intermittent hit? Sorry, the seven minute hit workout. High intensity interval, interval training. I think it's seven minutes in hell. Fuck, man. I want to fucking throw up. Let's get, get it. hard, though. David Goggins. Cali. And it's like, okay, you I got, tired? I you. you tired? And that's what happened. You and tired? I don't, I mean, you don't really want. Yeah, you're a good puppy. You're a good puppy. You're a good puppy. You're a good puppy. Ooh, baby. My new chair has just come in. I'm going to open it up right now. Uh, it's so I can stop sitting on this piece of shit that's over here so i've been sitting on this garbage that's literally 20 years old from when we literally i remember when i was like five years old we had this chair and finally i'm gonna open my new chair all right let's do it ta-da all right this is the first one this one's for my brother all done now time to go make mine just i want to walk my daily walk. This pathway right here, legendary pathway, man. I used to go to high school across the street. And we used to always just come down here and just like chill, do fucking fucked up teenager shit. There were a bunch of fights at this air, in this specific path a lot as a kid in, in high school. Uh, it's just surreal walking by it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, living in Canada is all kinds of fucked. One day it's 30 degrees humid blazing sun the next day it's like back to fall i'm wearing a jacket and i'm freezing cold it's windy life of a canadian baby i mean nothing really to complain about here life is good we're living okay canada we're very lucky to be here uh if you live in every any other place in the world i wish you the best especially the states right now jesus christ I'll talk about that in a second. I think it's so fucked up. Absolutely fucked up. All the shit that's happening down in the States right now. Um, the police brutality against black people. I don't agree with it at all. I am, I'm completely so against all that shit. Uh, I, I hate the fact that there's so much hate in the world. I, I, I preach love. I want to show love to everybody. Holy fuck, man. How many Mercedes do you guys have? Sorry, the house just has like 11 Mercedes and Porsches. But like, what I'm trying to say is, I just hope uh, somehow the world can, can change for the better soon, because this shit's getting out of hand, and I don't know how to help. I know I I know I ha I know everyone's always all up in the air, and everyone's fucking freaking out, and like they're losing their minds over this shit recently. But um, I and I have so much compassion and love for the people who are suffering through this right now. We sold a stove. We have an extra stove in our house. And we sold that shit yesterday or today. Well, we had to move it up into the garage yesterday. And I'm telling you, I've never been more sore in my life. My muscles are absolutely fried. Dude, like this shit was at least 800 pounds. And me and him, my brother, were just struggling <laughs> trying to get from downstairs, upstairs into the garage. Man, my whole body's m more sore than any other workout I've ever, I've ever done in my entire life, which is insane. So now I'm feeling the wrath, man. My fucking muscles are bust right now. That's what happens when you're out of shape and you're fat and you don't work out regularly. Your muscles get sore super fast and you're just weak. I need to lift more. I mean, I can't now because the gyms are closed, obviously, but you know what I mean? Just always be trying to better yourself and work on yourself. Damn, old high school grounds. Look at that. They took down all the, the rims or they, they put plastic over it so no one can play. Crazy, man. 
It's the old stomping grounds. All right, I'm doing a, a impromptu podcast episode with my boy Alex Eskandarcha. Is that how you pronounce it? Ali. Ali. Merci, Baba. Thank you very much, Roddy. Um, I'm doing a yeah. I want to do a last minute, have a, a special guest because it's um, you know just more so uh, to, to speak on some issues that are happening recently in the world, but also just just to have him on uh, as a just a regular guest too. You know why not? Um, I thought it would be appropriate. So today I'm doing that. This is for my blog, my vlog, by the way. It's going on my vlog. Um, and yeah, he's here right here. Say hi. Hey, hi, hello. Thank you. Oh my God, you are Persian? I am Persian, yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. You are Belak, but you are Belak. Very khosh tip. Oh Man. my God. As Iran has seen, Bale, best of both Donyas, buddy. Oh, she has Iruni. It is, uh, oh, she's a windy one out there today. Man, this bird has been chilling there for the past month, doing nothing. It is currently day fucking 3000 of quarantine. I have no idea anymore. And it is, uh, it's a chilly one out today. It's been pretty hot the past few days, but it's been really cool and calm today. It's just nice, nice little difference in weather. I uh, just had dinner with the fam, and then I'm going to be doing a podcast. Uh, I don't know with who, actually. It's funny, because I've been accepting so many po people's podcasts, like, to go on their podcast during quarantine, because, like, no one can actually meet up in person. So I've just been, like, doing stuff online, on Zoom. And like just being guests on other people's podcasts all, all while doing my own, obviously. So I don't know. I have to do that in like 10 minutes. So I got to do that. But um, it's been fun, man. It's been fun. I, I like being talking about, you know, my career and just like doing fun stuff on other people's podcasts. So, yeah, it's a good time. Like I was saying, you can order the food off my mom Instagram page. Um, lots of good Iranian foods. She make homemade, home cooked very nice, very fresh, very nice, good taste, and um, decent price. Okay, it's worth it. It tastes very good, trust me. So if you live in the GTA area, in the York region, anywhere nearby, um, available for pickup. Okay, so order in now. Go to my mom's Instagram page, Akram Catering. Okay, um, I, I, I put it right here, somewhere here, somewhere. You can follow on Instagram, and that's it. Okay, so thank you. Yo, what's up, rabbit? Y'all good or not? Oh shit, <laughs> this guy's squared up. He's trying to beef then? I can't see shit. I know you can't see me. It's dark as hell. But uh, I am currently on a night walk. It is the end of the week and it's been a hectic week, man. Just in general, in my life, in the world. Shit's just been popping up everywhere. And it's kind of sad to see how, especially in America, what's going on. But, you know, trying to stay sane, especially, you know, and we're all in quarantine too, lockdown, coronavirus is happening, man, still like people are just losing their minds. So um, for me, what helps me keep going is knowing that I have supporters who love watching my stuff, my content. And I know my purpose is to make people laugh, make people, make people happy with my content, with my talent with my comedy and that's what makes it easier for me to keep going and continue posting all my videos and my podcasts and my stories on my social media every day regardless of what's happening in the world and it's not to say i don't care if i don't post about any serious topics or serious issues that are ongoing every single day in this world uh with anybody but at the end of the day it's my duty to bring joy to the people and that in, in turn makes me happy and I, that's my purpose man it's the whole reason why i dropped out of university to pursue my passion this is my love my drive 
comes from just doing comedy and acting and making other people's days better, brighten up their days, even for a few moments, regardless of all the shit and the suffering and the, and the bullshit that's happening in this world day to day. So thank you for all those people who support and watch me every day. And I hope you you understand where I'm coming from, the context I'm I'm providing for posting what I'm posting every day. Um, and honestly, if, if I can help people, I will in many ways as I can under the right circumstances. And that's it. So thank you for watching this vlog. This is the end, I guess. A uh, car's going to hit me. So I'm going to walk across the street. And... Yeah, man. Thank you so much for watching my vlog, and I'll see you guys another time. Oh, shit, I thought, I thought that was a fucking cop. I scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a fucking cop coming close to me. All right, so standing the day, I am going to go sleep. Um, I, I did a lot today. Filmed with my mom, filmed with my dad, ate a lot of good food, had some kebab, um, and then did a podcast, did everything. More videos, more videos, more videos, more videos. How much more videos can I do? A lot. Because I will be doing a lot. And yeah, that's all I have for the week. I'm going to end it here for this vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching my weekly vlogs. Let me know if you want to see anything different. Or if you enjoy watching them. If you hate them. I'd love the feedback. And also have my weekly podcast if you don't, if you haven't seen that. Right here on YouTube and daily videos on Instagram. So go follow me, Nima Naz. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna go sleep right now. Go brush my teeth. Read a book. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch the Saw movie actually right now. I'm gonna go watch Saw, the scary movie. Just because I I love scaring myself. No, I'm kidding. I actually am writing a, a Saw parody, like a video. I'm making a, I make fun of it. Like I'm doing a Persian version of it. And I might do even different versions, but. I need to just watch it just for reference. So I'm going to go watch that, scare myself to death, and then never sleep right after. And yeah, back again tomorrow. So thank you so much again. And I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys on next week's vlog. All right. Peace. Even when the skies are gray, you know that you made my day.